Hey everybody, welcome back to the Chaotic Podcast. I got some normal people with me that I usually have, and then uh, Corey's joining us again, and then welcome back to Kayla. Hi. She's mainly here because of some of our topics tonight are mainly about shit that she likes. So, I figured I'd give her the chance to defend what we're about to shit on in the last conversation. Um... How's everybody's days going? Uh, it's going, it's going good. It's going good. You sound like you're dying, Corey. What the fuck? That's normal. That's normal. Yeah. <laughs> How was your day, Kayla? Anything new and exciting? I got kitchen manager at my job. Nice. Yes, sir. She's about to make that money so I can be a stay-at-home bum. <laughs> she need to make that sh money. To be fair, it does feel kind of shitty that she already makes more than me, and now she's about to get an even bigger pay raise. So she's basically the man of the house. Yeah, I just work more hours to make up for it. <laughs> All right, I guess we're gonna go on to our first topic of the day. Uh. How y'all feel about TikTok basically taking over the world and being like the biggest social media platform now? I'm not gonna first came out I want nothing to do with it. I thought it was a stupid idea. It's gonna work out. And now uh it was about So I I gotta say I I was big surprised when it did it took over. Yeah, to be fair, I wasn't even going to download it because I thought it was just going to be another musically. And then I, Kayla kept showing me girls dancing on it. So <laughs> eventually uh, I downloaded it. I think some of the reason it blew up. What else did anybody else have to do in uh, during COVID? We yeah, that outside. We weren't allowed uh, to do anything, so... That was going to be my next question. If you guys thought it would have blown up as much as it did if it wasn't for COVID? No, probably not. Uh, well, I mean, essentially, it's basically longer versions of Vine. Yeah. And they're yeah. not. So the thing once was, Vine, Vine disappeared. Vine was actually funny. Yeah. TikToks are just people dancing, and it has a couple funny videos, but it's just not Vine. Yeah. I like, it's know. on its some way to being up. there, but... There's some pretty fucked up TikToks that are fucking hilarious, but you gotta have a dark sense of humor. Yeah, I mean, to me, it seems like it's kind of like, uh... What's it what? called? A, um... Uh, another streaming platform? Because they have, like, the whole live thing. Yeah, it kind of is like that. Uh, there was this other thing that... that... Yeah, there's this thing that Marcus used to do, my friend Marcus. He used It was called Big O Live. It was like B-I-G-O, and he used to do that, and that was like a big thing there for a while. But a lot of people actually haven't heard of it, but it was pretty big. But I feel like TikTok is taking over the world. I meant our old president tried to like get it banned. <laughs> so Yeah. I mean, I got over, I got like 8,000 followers just from one video of my brother doing the whole yeah thing at Walmart. That, that is true. You do have a viral video. How... Fuck, what was how many likes do you have on that video? Um, give me just a second, I can check. Does anyone else have any viral videos? Nope. It has fifty four and a fifty four point four thousand likes, but it has over one it has over one point six million plays. Jesus, that's crazy. That's probably out of anyone I know, that's probably the highest. Because I mean I know people that make TikToks, but half of them are cringy. I mean, I think the other most liked person that gets videos is probably Bryson. He gets, like, sometimes 100 likes. Oh, Bryson is so cringy. I know. It is so bad, bro. <laughs> sometimes I'll sit down in my work. I don't feel like nothing's worse than Marcus's, though. Yeah. Like, shout out to my yeah. boy Marcus if you ever watch this, but he do, like, dancing videos in his anonymous mask. And it is it, that shit has me cracking the fuck up. Like I know it's supposed to be serious, but I just can't do it. I'll have to send y'all <laughs> it later. But it's so bad. <laughs> I know Corey can vouch for me for this because we're all in a group on Messenger for Warzone. Bryson, I don't know 
why he did it, but like the other night, he just sent while he was at work, you like every five minutes, you send us a video of him just looking into the camera, licking his lips and stuff. Like, dude, get back to work. <laughs> dude, Bryson's so weird. Like, half of his videos that I've gone, like, not even viral, but like just have likes on it are like him like screaming a song in a car. Like, oh even Kayla's one video has like pretty decent amount of likes on it for like her not putting any hashtags or anything on it. And it's just Bryson, like, screaming song in the car, and, like, half the comments are like, I really vibe with him. It was, like, <laughs> Like, not me here... Uh, the one comment was, not me here sitting and singing with him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. That kid... That kid does crack me up, bro. And for as much dark shit as he went through, that man has, like, the best sense of humor, I feel. He also... I got- Surprisingly, so happy for all the shit he's been through. Yeah, like I've met someone that's so positive. He has only forty three followers, but like some of his videos have like every single video basically on his thing has over six hundred views at least. So I started in the TikTok game too late. I was me too. I was one of the I was one of those people like man, I'm not downloading that. That's stupid. And yeah. Then, yeah. And then I downloaded it, and now I'm just kind of like, all right, See, I'm in the, the problem I'm in is loop now. I feel like anyone could have got famous when it first started, but I was too late to it. So, like, you know, because they made a lot of stupid people famous. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Just like Vine did. Think about, think about the most problematic person in the world right now, like, out, like on YouTube and stuff like that. Who do you think of? Jake Paul. That motherfucker started on Vine. <laughs> like if we I didn't have Vine, we would have never had Jake Paul, Logan Paul, Curtis, King uh King Batch. To be fair, I, King I, King Batch has made it, bro. He in movies and yeah. everything. Yeah, I was gonna say King Batch. He's a different one. I, I he wasn't one of the retards from. <laughs> yeah. I don't, the funny thing is, I actually used to like Jake and Logan Paul's Vine. Like I used to follow them online. Yeah. I used to love their vines. Then when yeah. they started making YouTube videos and stuff, I was like, I don't know about this. And I think it's because I wasn't, I wasn't their age. Uh, not what is that word? I don't know. I wasn't the right age to watch their YouTube videos. Like I was too old to watch their like kitty. How old YouTube are you? Videos. I'm 23. Going, I had to think about that. I'm going on <laughs> 24 in January. Yeah, I. I'm 21, so like I was kind of the same age as I'm. Yeah, like when he was making videos for like eight to ten year olds, I was probably like 14, 15. Yeah. Yep. Which I think Jake Paul is my age. I think he's only a year older than me, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, that's, that's the thing with Team Match, though. Some of his videos are like cringy as fuck. Yeah. But they still make you laugh. Jake Paul is 24. Till yeah. Be twenty five next January. Yep. So he's he's like a year older than me. January what? Uh, January seventeenth. Yep. Uh-huh. That makes sense. He's that's Martin Luther King Day. Um. How the how how loud does that idiot get born on Martin Luther King Day? What well, doesn't Martin Luther King Day switch around? I think it's just whatever Monday is that month or whatever. Yeah, I think it's whatever. But um. So yeah. Anyone else got anything to say about TikTok? It's my favorite app, and I would probably be bored out of my mind without it. Dude, I don't know what I would have done the other day, yeah. at, like if I didn't have TikTok, because Facebook and Instagram crashed for like multiple hours. And Facebook used to be my shit, but now that I have TikTok, I feel like I could honestly delete Facebook if I wanted to. But. Like, when Facebook and Instagram went down, like, I got on TikTok, like, all day. Like, I watched, like, six hours. A big chunk, like, when I go to work in the morning, my one guy's shift, the night shift guy's shift, overlaps with mine. And, you know, I'd be getting my Xbox and shit and playing it on at work. So, like, the first two hours that I'm there, I can't do that because he's still there. And even though my manager doesn't care, but if he would, like, rat out on me to, like, above my manager, I could get in trouble. Yeah. So, like, first two hours, two whole hours of my shift, I watch TikTok. Like, my <laughs> phone, I go in with my phone at 100% at 7 o'clock, 
it's dead. Like it's on like ten percent by eight thirty. <laughs> Cause I just sit there and scroll all all morning. But uh all right. Up next. So I know there's like a lot of weird people about this, so I'm just trying to see how y'all feel about using public toilets. Look, if I have to go, I have to go. <laughs> I I I'd rather honestly I'd rather shit in the comfort of my own home. But if I'm not in public and know that I'm not gonna be home for a while, I'm gonna go. Like I've never had that worry. Like I've never cared. Like fuck it. Worst case scenario I get crabs and I have to shave my shit. <laughs> Well, like um, I'm taking a shit toilet, in the bathroom. If the toilet seat is disgusting, I'm not going. You don't hover. Because, you can't just hover. No, 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 no. I I can't. So what I do is I get like toilet paper and I like roll it out some, tear it off, and sit it on the seat. Kind of yeah. like okay. I've so done that a few times. Yeah, I used to do that, but the th- problem is half time. If I gotta go, listen. I'm not saying that I mind going shit or like something like that, but like if I gotta go half the time and I'm in public, like I'll usually hold it if I don't have to go go, but like if I gotta go go, there ain't no time to put that toilet paper down. I'm bare ass in that shit. <laughs> oh, it's coming out of me. Rest in peace. <laughs> exactly. Kale, let's hear the girl side. I mean, the only time I won't really use, like, a public bathroom is if, like, it looks gross. Like, if there's, like, poop in the toilet or something. (laughs) But, like, half the time whenever I have to go to the bathroom, like, if I have to poop, it the feeling normally goes away. And then I can just wait, like, a couple hours till I get home. Well, you guys shit in a porter potty? I I have before. 100%. (laughs) I will do it. (laughs) <laughs> it just feels Damn empty it. and like there's a cold draft. I can't just smell everybody's shit and like I'm, sit there and just shit, bro. Like I, that's something I can't. I'd rather shit in the woods than shit I, in a porta potty. I, 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 like, I'd, I'd, I'd shit in a porta potty, but I've seen jackass too many times. And I don't trust. <laughs> <that>. <laughs> well, that's the thing. Anytime I'm with my family event, like I'm at a family event, the only thing around. Is a porter potty, and I'm like, I don't trust my family enough not to fuck me up while I'm in here. <laughs> like, Kayla, uh, when we went to the beach and there was that porter potty before we walked down to the beach where the shipwreck was, I low-key thought Colton or Cole or someone was going to come up and start fucking with the porter potty the whole time. I just said, that's some shit I'd see Colton doing to you. Colton's a dickhead. He would. If Col- <laughs> Col- see, Colton would flip it and then claim it was an accident. <laughs> he, he, he would he would bump into it and be like, "Oh, I hit it a little too hard. I didn't mean to." No, fuck you. You know what you did. <laughs> oh, I gotta get him on this podcast one of these times. Yeah, you definitely do. He's too funny. We'd be we get canceled immediately. What's up, Davis? Davis just joined in. Not much. Not much. How y'all we're doing? We're talking about we're talking about using public toilets and uh, porter potties, and if you can do it or not. A hundred percent. See? Not the only one. Living no in problems Florida, with porta potties. Living in Florida, I mean, I gotta be honest, there's a lot of situations where the porta potty's probably cleaner than the public restroom next to you. So <laughs> See, live, living in Florida, I'd be scared that if I sat down in a porta potty, I'd have a needle going in my ass, honestly. <laughs> no, you wouldn't have to worry about a needle going in your ass. But you might have to worry about catching an STD just from touching it. <laughs> Dude, I've known people that have had sex in a porta potty. Do you think you oh, could do that? God. Oh, my I God. I have a story. Oh, oh man. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh my. God. With three different people. Hell no. Oh, oh my God. Want- <laughs> was it at once or was it like different? Um, two in the same day, one on separate two. Oh, hell no, there ain't no way I'm getting three people in a porter potty. That should get hot quick. It does. Even, in, even in the winter, that would be like even taking a shit like in a porter potty. I feel like I'm in a fucking sauna. Like I feel like I'm dying. <laughs> I feel like that every day. It is the yeah. fall and it's 95 degrees out. To be fair. The pen, the weather in Pennsylvania is so whack. Like this weekend, it's supposed to be ninety degrees again, and today it's like sixty. Yes. 
That's how it is today in Michigan. Like today is supposed to be yep. like a high of eighty three, and Saturday it's supposed to be fifty. Michigan, Ohio, and Pennsylvania, like all on that line, like it, the weather like fluctuates so much. Oh, and all it does is fucking rain. Yep. Yeah. All right. So, up next we got uh. Anyone how else have anything about public shitters? What's up? I mean, kind of related. So, so if you watch the You're game, a robot. did you? Oh, so let me turn my Wi-Fi on. Yeah. So, did you, you like the talk about, about waifu too? I didn't watch the thing yet. I just saw it. Oh man, you are in for a treat in hearing how I decide to loop everything back to a disturbing game. Alright. Uh yeah, check out that video. That video would have come out today, which is we're recording it. So yesterday when this video goes up. Um all right, up next, favorite live experiences that you guys have ever went on. Like MMA, you want to see an MMA fight, WWE or concerts, like what's your favorite? Of all time. I went I went and saw um my favorite football team play at in a home opener and I loved it. Absolutely loved it. There was a dumb drunk. I actually got I, I know I'm a Ravens fan, but I got a fist bump Larry Fitzgerald. Mm-hmm. Reason being I he there was these two kids, probably eight and ten, they were wearing his jersey and he came up, you know, before the game and gave him like gave them some you know, Larry Fitzgerald things, like, I think his gloves or something, whatever, gave it to him, and this drunk dude walks down, grabs him, and starts walking away. I walk up, I grab him from the drunk, he looks at me, he goes, what are you doing? I said, I said, dude, the game hasn't even started started yet. Shut the fuck up and go home. And I <laughs> gave him back to the little kid, and uh, Larry just puts his fist out, and I bump it, and I walk away. May have been a real <laughs> fan, but god damn it, that felt good. <laughs> is that how you lost your two front teeth? <laughs> no. No, it is not, bitch. <laughs> um, I probably have to say mine, uh, my senior year in high school, my dad took me up to Comerica Park for opening weekend. No, it's my junior year in high No, my sophomore year in high school. Uh, I went up to Comerica Park for opening weekend. The Tigers were playing um, the Boston Red Sox that weekend. And I got to meet um, David Ortiz, the first baseman for the yeah. Red Sox. Damn. That's a big one. That's a big name. Yeah, I think the only people that I've ever like met while going to a concert or anything like that, I met the band Pop Evil, if you guys know who they are. Nope. Nope. Okay. Yeah, that was back in 2016, I think. I, some of my favorite memories are I've been I've seen over a hundred per, like people perform like concert wise, like bands and stuff like that. But um, Rock on the Range in 2016 in Ohio, I went there. That was fun. That was my first big like three day concert. Like every single day you went and listened to like 20 bands, and then. But my favorite of all time, I think, the first concert that I remember going to, besides, like, this random one back in the day, my first, like, rock concert, I went and listened to Five Finger Death Punch in Reading. Ooh. I bet you loved it, too. I did. I mean, I've seen them on multiple occasions, but nothing beat the first time, because they were uh, played with Volbeat was there, and uh, nothing more. And I forget the other ones. The other person sings Sangre for Sangre or Blood for Blood. Who is that? Look it up. But um, I haven't really had too many big live experiences because, you know, Mississippi, we don't really get a whole lot. Yeah. But um, I'm trying to go actually go see um, a concert in November. They got a, a band I've been wanting to go see live. Oh, I know what you're bringing up. Bad Omens, uh, Fame on Fire. I've uh, seen Bad Omens. Ice Nine Kills is going to be there. So, so I, I kind of want to go see that, but I also don't want to go by myself. You never and... go to any wrestling things? I meant with your name being SmackDown, oh, I figured. Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I do remember that. I did actually go to SmackDown. Uh, I've been to a few of them, time. too. 
But uh, been... it wasn't on a Friday. It was on yeah, no, it's, a, it's on a one. Tuesday. It was a Tuesday. It's recorded, and then it would go on Friday. Yeah. That's that's how I went. Yeah. So what? I went to Monday Night Raw once. I've been to SmackDown three times, I think, and then I've been to like their live Hershey events a few times, but that's about it. I want to go to an MMA fight. I think that would be fun. Yeah, I'd love to go watch Connor. I'd watch. I'd love to go and watch Connor, but at this point, I don't think it's affordable. Maybe when he was younger, it would have been more affordable. But (laughs) yeah, now tickets are going for like two thousand a person, and I ain't got that kind of fuck you money. (laughs) I don't got that kind of fuck you money. (laughs) Davis, you got anything for those live events? Doing it. What'd you do? So um, I was trying to preach when I was a senior in high school, and up on stage, something like kind of like I get allergic to a certain kind of perfume, yeah. and I it, and I sneezed on stage and screamed out, "Oh fuck!" <laughs> and every well, that... is the cursing pastor. <laughs> <laughs> Kayla, have you ever been anything? I've been to things, but I don't think that like any of them have been my favorite experience. You always talk about the Jonas Brother one. That's because I'm a diehard fan of the Jonas Brothers. It doesn't mean that it's my favorite thing. I see you. Zenny, you right. have favorite live performance there. Yeah. I've been to so many live performances, but I haven't been in years, though. I think the last thing that I went to was the Carolina Rebellion in North in Charlotte, North Carolina. And then I'm, yeah. I'm excited for November cuz I'm going to see a day to remember and asking Alexandria. See, see, I, I love asking Alexandria, but they're not the same like they used to be. So I can't even like They're also I wanted to go see them live, but they're not like, the greatest in concert. Some I mean, some some perform better, like yep. on stage, and then some are just you know, they didn't really surprise me. You know, like they didn't shock me when I seen them live. Well, you also got to remember this is like this is their second Dan- singer. Yeah, no, well, no, no, no. So Danny was the first one. Yeah. Um, some guy I can't think of his name. His name was Devin something. <laughs> and uh, that's when the Black Album. The black. Ooh. You probably saw him when they uh during that phase with the second singer. I saw them at my at the last one I said in twenty seventeen, the Carolina one. Oh, that was okay. the last so time Danny, I said. Yeah, Danny came back. Like I said, he he was different. He just got back done doing like country singing. You know who's really good in concert? And I know Kayla really wants to go see them, but they're always the one like UK tours. I know you're gonna say. Bring me the horizon. I want to go see them live too. They're really fucking good. Yeah, I've heard I've heard some of their songs live, and uh, they don't disappoint at all. That's why I said I want to go see Bad Omens because they remind me of Bring Me the Horizon live. How they're really good. Another favorite band. Another good ass one. I was really impressed with Breaking Benjamin. Yeah, they're really good as well. Um, all right. Next topic, because we still have, like, three left. Three or four left. Favorite Ooh. childhood memories? Ooh. None of them. Losing my virginity. <laughs> That's not... I mean, <laughs> kind of, yeah. It depends on what the age. Hell no, bro. It was nothing <laughs> special. <laughs> well, I mean, mom, mom wasn't. But... Mom was nothing special. <laughs> Two pump, chump, and done. <laughs> Watch and find a Nemo. <laughs> Dear God. I'll never forget the way the priest looked at me. Wait a minute. <laughs> hold up. Hold up. Hold up, son. Nah, I, it, it, I'll go first. One of my, <laughs> this, weird one. Weird one. You know my cousin Cole, who's also in the group, CMZ Rock. When we were younger, uh, we used to, um, when my dad would go to bed, we would switch over the MTV at like three o'clock in the morning because we would stay up all night just to watch this. But we would just sit there, like watch Girls Gone Wild and like yep. awe. <laughs> like, we I used to watch that shit. 
It was it was so stupid because it was all censored. We're like sitting there getting our rocks off, not even you know, <laughs> not even know what the fuck we're doing, just watching it <laughs> casually, like it's so. And there was like I can't even tell you like one plot to that goddamn show now. Like I just, <laughs> it was so bad. <laughs> and another one is my dad used to put me to sleep before Monday Night Raw would come on. Like he would put me to bed at nine o'clock every night. So, like, the nights that there was, like, three-hour episodes, like, when it started at 8, I was allowed to watch an hour. But little did he know, when he would shut, like, TVs were off everything at 9 o'clock. When he would shut off the TV at 9 o'clock, what I would do is I would get out of my bunk bed, and I would lay on the floor and look underneath the crack of my, like, door and watch it from the TV in the living room. And That's then <laughs> when he would go to sleep or if he would go to bed early and didn't watch Monday Night Raw, I would go and I would put my blanket over top of my box TV. You know, you have them little box yep. TVs back in there. <laughs> I'd, put my, I'd put my blanket over the top of it and then put me under the blanket and I would stand there with the blanket over my head <laughs> and I would watch it so that the light wouldn't beam out into the living room. But that's probably some of my favorite memories. Uh, I have a lot just from like the little trailer park I grew up in. Mm -hmm. Um, shit. I don't even know where to start with that. Um, I know one great memory is, uh, the year Anton, AJ, and, um, they graduated and I went to their graduation, you know, seeing everybody underneath me kind of graduating. Yeah. It was like a different experience because you're watching your friends graduate rather than you being in there yeah. graduating. It's just a different experience doing that than. Yeah, I watched my friend uh, graduate from boot camp at the uh, at Fort Benning. That was my first time in uh, in Georgia, so that was fun. Till he got dishonorably discharged for doing drugs, but <laughs> it was fun while it lasted. Um, another memory is, uh, remember Heelys when Heelys were a big thing? Yes. I ate shit trying to go down yeah. the steps at my school because I didn't know how to walk when I wasn't doing the heel. First off, I was poor. I'm not going to lie. I was poor growing up for a little bit. I was poor and I didn't have Heelys. I had these things called wheelies. Yeah, where you had, like, you had little spikes on the back of them, and you hit the back of them, and the wheels will pop out. Well, not yeah, not just that, but wheelies are more like roller skates. So you have them in the front and the back. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah. So I was trying to just walk regularly, and I fucking remember at elementary school, I hit the one step, and I just fucking ate it. Like <laughs> <laughs> I fell down the step so fast, and I was like, "This shit's dumb." And then I took the fucking wheels out at the nurse's office. As I was getting my shit iced. <laughs> uh, I fell uh, uh, down a hill because a, a, a little baby rock got stuck in my wheel when I was going down. And I did a whole front flip and uh, skint the fuck out my knee. And I had to basically walk back up the hill while crying, holding my fucking knee. While, <laughs> you know, random people in the trailer park just sitting there watching me like, the fuck is he crying about? <laughs> oh man, I've done a lot of dumb shit. Yeah, I have too. Shooting fireworks in the house. Got my oh. ass beat for that. <laughs> Yo, I uh bottle, bottle rockets. Yeah, bottle rockets. Yeah. I He's fucking firing those things off at each other is what led to that crack line emote. Alright, so <laughs> I'm gonna tell you about some some fun and then not so fun times. I shot my sister in the face with a BB gun once. Oop. <laughs> and then we had to go to the hospital and the cops talked to me and tried to make sure I wasn't a serial killer. That was one. Um, I jumped off my dad's roof into the bag of pellets for his pellet stove. Oop. So that was fun. <laughs> yeah. It, it was... I fucking hit a tree head on with a four-wheeler. That one was just me being dumb and trying to rip a corner too tight. But yeah, Kayla, go ahead. Let's let's talk about you. Uh, the only thing I kind of blocked out most of my childhood from a lot, but 
The only thing I remember the most is going to the skating rink, like, every Friday and Saturday. I used to do that shit, too. Like, I wish I could go again, because it's... Yeah. No, just the going back and being in a skating rink with my friends. Well, that's, like, the at- it's the atmosphere, because, like, I went to youth group every Friday night after school, like, at, like, 6 o'clock. And I didn't even really believe in God or anything like that. I just went because after we were done doing our youth group, we would go out and play manhunt throughout, like, the cemetery and all that. And that was, like, a thing, like, every Friday. Like, and I really do miss doing that shit and being a kid, but... Some things just also aren't the same when you grow up. Yeah. Like, the memory is better than actually doing it. I also... Oh, back to you guys saying about the bottle rocket thing i threw a paint can into a fire that <laughs> shit exploded and my stepmom at the time ran outside thinking that we died <laughs> she's like i thought you fucking killed yourself <laughs> i was like well <laughs> almost did <laughs> <Close enough. laughs> I, was like, I wasn't expecting that shit to boom as loud as it did i well, thought it was empty too so it did. <laughs> you guys got it I've got a first time I was tased situation. Ooh, I tased myself the first time. So I was 14 years old, and my parents took me to a little beach town with my uh, god brother, who's essentially like, I don't know how the fuck to describe him. He's like family. So he and I had ghillie suits. And we decided, because this town was so small, they didn't have cops, they had security. We are like, we're going to fuck with them. So if you entered the the code in at the pool after hours, it would make the security come and trigger it out. Like, go and check it and everything else like that. So we did that, like, five or six times. Finally, they brought a dog out there, and they found my friend immediately. So he bolted off, and the dog was chasing him. And I was like, fuck it. I'm going to get on their golf cart and drive off. Made it to the golf cart, but didn't out the prongs. And as I started to hit the gas, he fucking let that shit rip. And I fell off that motherfucker. <laughs> you got tased? Or you got tased already? You got the shit tased out of me. He held that bitch for like a minute. There was so much hate in that man's heart. Yeah. The first time... <laughs> no, no, no. The first time I got tased was from my friend Tyler Bowder. He, uh, he had like a fucking... One of them loud <laughs> stun gun things, you know? Like, not a gun, but the actual taser. And he's like, just let me do it once. And I was like, no, no. Like, I kept saying no all night. Because I, for some reason, I don't know why, I was scared I was going to have a heart attack if he tased me. Like, because I got, I got a heart condition. I was like, if you tase me, I'm going to die. <laughs> so, <laughs> so this motherfucker waited till I wasn't looking. It came up and, you know, like, where you have that elbow fat, you know, <laughs> like right above my elbow. There's like a bunch of fat there. He came and he fucking got me so good on there. He held that bitch for like three seconds. I remember my skin burning off. I was, I was pissed. <laughs> I was like, you're lucky I fucking die. He was like, you're not going to die. But Gamer Cat, your turn. Oh, uh, let's see here. The day he lost uh, two front teeth. The, uh, you, want, you want the day? Okay, but. I so it was a school day. Uh, we were supposed. To, I was at school and it was raining, so we had to go into this gymnasium to um, you know, wait for school to start. And uh, I ran in, or as I was leaving, I had my shoes. They weren't tied. And as I walked, kids stepped on them, and then people were shoving, and I eventually fell. And my mouth, for some reason, was open, and it bounced off of the floor, and I broke them right there. Oh. Yep. I had a chipped tooth, but it was because I was fucking around with my brother's trombone, and some kid came up and smacked the front of it, and I chipped my tooth. Yeah, no, I, I just ate shit, and teeth went gone. Yikes. All right, looks like we lost Nathan for the moment, so we're going to move on to our next topic. Oh, I was going to say, my mom got hers um, kicked into her nasal cavity by a horse. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, she was oh, looking no. all around for, like, the missing half of her tube so she could readjust it. Well, it turns out they were just shoved into her gum. 
Oh. Get rid of your horses. Yeah, fuck your horses at this point. <laughs> the horses suck. I got fucking dragged at the horse sale today. That was some fun shit. All right, boys. We got the controversial topic of the day. It's oh, not boy. really... I don't really have any questions about it. It's more of just a statement that I, I, I guess I want you guys' opinions on. Wait, so, but what I, but, Oh, wait, never mind. So, um, China, right? You know, our friendly neighborhood China. They have decided to ban video games with same-sex relationships. So, like, you can no longer play those games in China. Like, Life is Strange and shit like that. Like, you can never play uh, So, basically, every Mass Effect ga- any Bioware yeah. game. The one <laughs> Dead, Life is Strange, yeah, Bioware game. Oh, it really God. looks like you're playing in China. Yeah, you you literally just can't own games that people are gay in over there. That's crazy. Oh, uh-huh. I just why it matters like if it's not affecting them then what's the big deal you know well we'll go back to one of our previous ones they do push it a little bit too much like a lot of game developers have been pushing it too much like it feels like you can't even be straight in video games anymore so but like to completely ban it is like fucked That's the problem, then just don't play the game. And if you like the series of the game that much, you'll look past it and get over it. Yeah. Well, I think it's the fact that it's more of, like, every game out there, you know. But it is what it is. But the ban it completely is, like, ridiculous. I was say, like, yeah. there's nothing wrong with homosexuality, but for whatever reason, I believe it's still banned in... Some countries, as in, like, I know Russia, it's not banned, but it's, like, illegal to display it out in public or something like that. See, I didn't even think China was like that. Like, I don't know what reason I didn't think it was like that, but it just seems like that would be, like, more of a country that it would be allowed in. But at the same time, aren't they not allowed to have tattoos, or is that Japan? Um, I believe that might be both of them, honestly. I know that a lot of, like, in Japanese culture, there's the Yakuza who are suit cut where anything that's like, you can't have it shown outside of a suit. But when it comes to China, they're really strict about a lot of things. There were people who were wanting it to be a more like a more American-like system, and there were protesters just shot and killed over that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. China is a little fucked, you ask me, but... Alright. Back on to something happier. Uh, I need an album from each of you that require no skips. What well, do you think? I, 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 I have a lot. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I mean, J. Cole's latest album for me and his album K.O.D. I, I feel like I like every single song on there. Am I allowed to give a controversial artist? No, that's all right. Yeah, whatever you want. Morgan Wallen's uh, 2020 Dangerous album. That's the hit. Well, 2021, fuck. That's yeah. it. Not gonna lie, country is literally just country with 808s now. It's not even country anymore. Yeah. Motherfucker, but, I can take what I can. <laughs> I, I know, I know. <laughs> I know, man. I was, I, my, my girl, um, she, she's really big in country. And she was playing some song, and I was like, "Who is that?" Oh, that's Morgan Wall. I was like, "That is that country?" She's like, "Yeah." I was like, "Yeah, no, that's country with 808s." <laughs> so we just have this song going. Johnny Cash is the only thing that, like, I was raised in a Jesus is Lord, Cash is King household. <laughs> I, I was more in the. Uh, my dad listened to country, but it wasn't like. Just particularly one person. It was just kind of a bunch of like old artists and newer artists at the time. So, uh, bro, another another good ass album. Uh, Kendrick Lamar's damn album. That shit was. Yep. When that, that was shit good. when that shit came out, bro, that shit made me a fan of Kendrick. I never even listened to Kendrick before that album, and that shit was fire. I will tell you. Uh, I want to say Sep Eternal by Bring Me the Horizon. That, yeah, that literally that that album changed genre of that that genre of music. Hybrid Theory, Lincoln Park. Yeah, 
I, I feel like all of Linkin Park's albums are like straight up bops, dude. Uh, I'm trying to think of another album. Uh, some of the newer albums that are out now, um, Wage War just dropped an album called uh, Manic. That one's actually really good. Um, hey, Rep. The 352. They're from my hometown. Wait, who Game. are? Wage War. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know they were Wage from Florida. Wage War and A Day to Remember are both from Ocala. Yo, I did not know that. Gamer Cat, you got anything? Uh, Jelly Roll, what's his newest album? Shit, I can't remember the name. But... I'm not gonna lie, that Jelly Roll album do be good, though. Yeah. Con- country Rap Gone Country. That's a new... That's um, a new album? Is it Battles yeah. of the Broken? Yes. I've never even listened to this guy before. I'll have to listen to it. I like the... I like Son of the uh, Son of a Sinner the best. Yeah, that's a good one. I like uh, uh, Spirit Box dropped a new album, and that album is an album you all the songs hit, and the transition to every song makes you want to keep listening rather than skip. Um, I'll give a rock album kind of or whatever you want to consider. Five Finger Death Match. Fuck. Why did I say match? Five Finger Death Punch. <laughs> The Wrong Side of Heaven. That album was fire. American Capitalist. I like both of those albums. They're newer albums. Uh, you know. But they got yeah. That's a new a lot of new like older bands trying to do like stay relevant is hard because at that point they had to completely change what they originally did to basically fit into the newer system. Yeah. Kayla, you got an album? If you say Jonas Brothers. I can't hear you. I can hear you out in the living room, but... I was going to say um, Dreamlands by Glass Animals. I don't know if anyone listens to those. Mm, not really. I think you've played them for me. Yeah. Um, I was also going to say... Um, that guy that we listen to, that's your friend. His name is Trey. Trey Guard. Yeah. Yeah. I've been listening to a lot of his stuff lately. But he yeah. has like minute 30 songs. So it's like short, but they're still it, really good. His music is very good. Um, Fuck, I'm trying to think of what album it was. I'm, I'm looking through right now. Uh. I was there's an album by Gorillas. Do you guys know who Gorillas are? Yep. Yeah, the good. Ones, they, it's Clint it's the one with Clint Eastwood and uh the other one with it. Demon Days, I think. Gorillas was always good. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, it's it's uh Demon Days. That was a big one that I listened to back in the day. All right. Anyone got anything else before we hit our last topic? No. Most of the most of the bands I named, all their albums slap. Yeah. All right. So, I think this is the weirdest shit ever. But for some reason, Kale is really into it, which is why I wanted her to be on this podcast. What do you guys think of ASMR, and why is it so popular? Do you guys not, all know what ASMR is? Not a fan. Yeah. I'm, just, uh, I'm not a huge fan. It yeah. can be eating ASMR slime, like any type, not just... Like whispering into the mic while you're trying to sleep. Like, yeah, like there's nothing not... Hey, not that. Yeah, that just creeps me the fuck out. I don't know what it is, but it creeps me out. Yeah, I think ASMR is really weird. Well, but I was going to give Kayla the, you know let her defend it a little bit because she'd be watching straight people <laughs> chomp down on some fucking like cheese fries and shit like that. I'm like, what do you get out of this? Hey, Joey watched a whole video that I sent him. We sat on there and he put it up through Discord and me and him sat there and watched it. Well, we already know Joey's weird. But, but... Joey doesn't <laughs> like that stuff. It would be strange though. Yeah, it's Whoa. just... 
What do you what do you get out of it, Kayla? What do you get out of watching or listening, sorry, to somebody eat? So Quiet. the part isn't like watching it. It's more of just listening. But like, I don't know. I just like the sound. Like I don't like the slurping sounds and stuff, but I like this like the crunchy sounds or like the mushy sounds if that makes sense. Would you ever do an ASMR video? I used to have a freaking <laughs> Instagram account with my friend Garrett, and we did ASMR on it. Oh, my God. But, like, I like, like, rain ASMR. I don't like listening to people talking to mics all weird. But I can, like, turn on rain and fall asleep to it. That's a type of ASMR. I like soap-cutting ASMR. There's just so many kinds. It's not just eating and... Stuff is, like that. What does ASMR actually stand for? I don't know. I'm not that diehard. Auto autonomous sensory mer meridian response. What the fuck? <laughs> Whole lot of words. Yeah, like autonomous sensory meridian response. It's a relaxing, often sedative sensation that begins on the scalp and moves down the body, also known as brain massage. It's triggered by placid sights and sounds such as whispers, accents, and crackles. So, is it like the crunchiness of the food, or is it like the way their mouth claps together? Like, what is it? No, it's nothing <laughs> about their mouth. It just... The way the food sounds when it's being eaten. But, like, the weird thing is, I can watch, like, my For You page on Instagram. Like, if you hit the search button and it's in there is all people eating but if someone is chewing too loud in real life i literally want to smack the shit out of them yeah that's, <laughs> i don't get it because you literally always yell at colton to close your mouth close his mouth and so does chloe and i'm pretty sure chloe watches the asmr videos too and i'm like what the i don't hell? know Just something about it being in real life i think it's whenever it's unintentional and people don't know that they're doing it that pisses you off Vinny, so start doing it intentionally. I would have, if I open my mouth more than three times, she'd probably smack the fuck out of me. There are some times I'm chomping on some shit, though. I ain't gonna hold you. Yeah. <laughs> you get no protest there. Alright, so if you had to, like, could you watch it for, like, five minutes? Me? Anyone in here. No. Not a chance in hell. I I think the idea is weird and it, I don't I don't understand it. Like, sure, it's relaxing, like to look at. Like, I guess like watch people cut soap and shit like that. But like watching yeah. people eat, why the fuck do I want to watch you eat? What if I want to go eat my and like? Why I feel I wanna, like the I feel like the whispering the whispering parts of it. I feel is more of a kink. Like I feel like people are just getting off to it. Yeah. yeah I feel like you on the that. Sound of my voice. <laughs> Could any of you guys do a video on it? I could probably just make my creepy ass whisper the entire time and get away with it. But could you do an eating one? No. Not a chance at all. I don't want to end up like that um that one guy who kind of looked attractive to start his career with the mukbang shit, mukbang shit, and now is like make my about guy avocado. Yeah, avocado. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and, now, and now he's like the walking picture for type two diabetes. Oh my god! I but, didn't get a I didn't get a celebrity um threat that round. Well, last game review, so I got to get it here. Coming for yeah. you, Nick. Making all us diabetics look bad. <laughs> all right. Do we got anything else for today? Do you guys have mm, anything? I don't. I don't. At least. Yeah. Well, I like I I gotta go to some fancy ass party, and I don't know how my draws are gonna deal with that. Your draws? My draw, the way I fucking talk. Wow. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Alrighty. Well, that's all we have then. You know, leave a like. Bro, I. That's some bullshit. I'm sorry. I'm playing Warzone, and oh. we just got killed from someone who was under the map. Hey. Don't play a game that's fucking broken. And oh. that is us signing off, everybody. Thank you very much for uh, watching. Peace out.